a demonstration of why you should really avoid using the multi-select and match functionality within uh, Zoho Books in the banking module. Uh, what this multi-select and, select and match functionality allows you to do is if you click it, then you can select multiple transactions such as this, and you can then match them all. Uh, you know, let's you click there to refresh. You can then match them all to a single, or categorize them rather to a single transaction category. So, so these are all expenses, for example. Uh, okay, I've happened to check uh, to select across withdrawals and deposits. Let's say if I only had to select, um, only selected withdrawals. Come on, go select a few withdrawals. Um, and let's say all of these were the same expense type, you could then come and uh, choose the category's expense and then post them all to a single account, um, for example, advertising and say, save, etc. Uh, the reason why I highly recommend staying away from this functionality is because of the difficulties it creates when doing bank reconciliations. So here's a, a great example. Um, I'm now in the Zoho Books, the, the bank reconciliation section. I'm trying to reconcile and I can see that there's a difference of 8,000 rand and 8,021 rand and 10 cents. Um, after comparing the bank statements to or the statements within Zoho Books to what's in my actual statement from the bank, I've identified this transaction over here, this 8822.1 as the problematic one. I've then gone to the actual banking transaction. I go to all transactions over here, which have already been categorized. I'm going to do a quick filter because I've, because I've identified it, I can see the date in question, which in our example happens to be January the 4th, 2024. So let me filter by that and search. Um, and you'll see that there's this transaction here of 8822. And when I click on it, you'll see that it's actually comprising multiple statement lines. And you'll also see that the dates of all of these statement lines are across well basically um, in my situation it's across statement reconciliation period so that the bank statements are issued up until the seventh of the month um, but the point is it becomes very very difficult to actually perform a bank reconciliation because now you have all of these transactions clumped into only a single amount over here um, and for this reason i highly recommend staying away from the multi-select and match option unless you know you do it very carefully and you understand exactly what you're doing cheers